and 83,000 scans. The single most important lesson my colleagues and I have learned is that you can literally change people's brains. And when you do, you change their life. You are not stuck with the brain you have. You can make it better, and we can prove it. If you want to keep your brain and your memory healthy for as long as possible, or even reverse it if you have brain damage, you have to attack all of the risk factors that I put in this mnemonic, Bright Minds. B is for blood flow. Um, low blood flow is the number one predictor of Alzheimer's disease. Retirement and aging, when you stop learning, your brain starts dying. Inflammation damages every organ in your body. Genetics, if it runs in your family, you need to be serious now, not 10 years from now. Head trauma, uh, just a huge issue in our country. Toxins like smoking, uh, drugs, alcohol, mold. Uh, mental health issues like depression triples the risk of Alzheimer's disease. Immunity and infections, we could go on and on about that. Uh, hormone deficiencies, diabetes, which is a combination of being diabetic and overweight, uh, sleep problems. And we have interventions for each of these things. In fact, for inflammation, low levels of omega-3 fatty acids are associated with the smaller brain. And so how easy is it to eat more fish or take fish oil supplements? Um, genetics, if you have this in your family, um, curry or curcumins actually have been shown to decrease the plaques thought to be responsible for Alzheimer's disease. Head trauma, you obviously have to protect yourself. Um, mental health issues, the automatic negative thoughts. Uh, immunity, boost your vitamin D level, diabetes, Diabetes, you have to change your diet. It's just so important to get your food right. Uh, and sleep is just critical.